I'm Justin Black with Visionary Wild. We're here at Kol Su in Kyrgyzstan, or more properly uh, called the Kyrgyz Republic. We're at about what, 11,000 feet, just a few kilometers from the Chinese border. Uh, one of my favorite places on Earth. Kyrgyzstan is probably one of the most underappreciated, little-known countries on, the, on Earth. And uh, it's just a stunningly spectacular place, uh, which is why we come back every year. Visionary Wild is a photo workshops and travel company specializing in uh, small group experiences in uh, sort of unexplored locations. And this is a prime example of the sort of place I love to come. When I first came here, my reaction was, why is this place not overrun with tourists? It's a spectacular country, and it's a safe country. You hardly ever see a fence. You never see no trespassing signs. It's just this feeling of freedom to go where you please, really embrace the landscape, and uh, make incredible photos. One of the reasons I love Kyrgyzstan is because I love mountains, and Kyrgyzstan is a very mountainous country that's sort of a combination of Switzerland, Nepal, the Sierra Nevada, the Rockies. You have uh, massive glaciers, incredible rocky summits, wild rivers that you'd think would be full of rafters and kayakers, but instead they're uh, pristine, just flowing through the landscape. It's basically a series of mountain ranges that step from south of the capital Bishkek toward the Chinese border. The mountains create their own weather and create their own sort of um, microclimates. So you have you know, desert areas, sort of badlands areas, very lush valleys, alpine pasture where the locals bring their herds of yaks and horses and goats and sheep and cows to graze. Every day is different in terms of weather. I mean, some days you'll be in t-shirts, some days you've got your down jacket on. Fortunately, for the most part, the weather is pretty good. Kyrgyzstan uh, is a wonderful place to travel, but it does have some logistical uh, issues to overcome. Fortunately, they've all been worked out uh, through careful planning. On this trip, we're traveling by a four-wheel drive caravan with vehicles for the guests as well as support vehicles. We're visiting 10 different locations on this trip over the course of 18 days. For the most part, uh, you know, hotels aren't available in places like this. So where we don't have access to yurts or a hotel, we'll set up our own camp. Sort of a glamping camp. Each person has their own tent and we have our own camp cook and all that sort of thing. We basically create the best possible scenario for accommodations. You know, every place is selected carefully for its exceptional scenic uh, qualities, the photo opportunities they present, and also for diversity. Welcome to Dream Lake. Uh, we are here below the range of the whole series of high peaks uh, right on the Chinese Kyrgyzstan border, getting close to uh, 19, 20,000 feet. It's one of the most spectacular landscapes that I've ever been present in in my life, and the amazing thing is there's nobody else here. Another thing I love about Kyrgyzstan is the Kyrgyz people themselves. The Kyrgyz are the oldest extant culture in Central Asia, going back thousands of years. You know, it's a Silk Road culture. The people are incredibly hospitable and welcoming. I have never been treated like a foreigner here. I've always just been treated like a person, and that's always really impressed me. One of 
One of the highlights for me and I think everyone else is our helicopter excursion to Contengri Base Camp where we spend two nights in the established mountaineering camp there, surrounded by peaks between 19 and 24,000 feet all around us uh, between two large glaciers, one of which is the fifth longest glacier in the world. It's just a spectacular experience and, and for me it's a great way to sort of finish up the trip. Mm -hmm.